Well, Ben, I don't know if you know, but Ben is friends with Chris Pratt. No, I and, didn't know that. From yeah, the Marvel movies, right? Yeah, yeah, they're buddies and have been for decades. And, uh, well, apparently, when everything was done and dusted and Red Dead 2 was out, Ben compared NDAs with Chris Pratt, and Rockstar's NDA is more strict than Marvel's. Wow. Oh, yeah. Is that something we can put in the podcast or not? Fuck it, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, can I can I curse? Can I curse? Yeah, yeah. curse away. It's already okay. it's already been marked explicit in the. Uh, okay. IGs. We don't know how to not curse. That's our problem. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're British. So. I'm pretty good well, at Mark not cursing German. now. But, uh, I'll never forget when I went to Ireland for the first time. You know, these four year olds. Oh, me fucking Irish! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey there, partner. How you doing? You are listening to the GLHF Podcast. Hello and welcome to Game and Fortune, the show where the game is utter nonsense and the prize for our winner is exposure. Game and Fortune is a game show about video games, the best kind of games. And in this podcast, players compete against one another to prove their video game knowledge, risking their lives and reputations in the process. Further proof, as if anyone needed, that game journals don't know shit. Come with us as we spiral slowly into the abyss. I am your host, the reviled Dave Breens, and I'm here with the one and only Kirk McKeend, also known as the Judge, the fastest draw in the West, and the father of dragons. Uh, it was meant to be mother of dragons. Yeah, I know, but I just... Mm, yeah, okay. Didn't, didn't want to... It, it's all true anyway. I'm not going to call Kirk mommy. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> not even on work time. And this week, we are joined by a very special guest. A Broadway sensation the voice and performance actor for Arthur Morgan in Red Dead Redemption 2, and recently a co-star for Troy Baker in Fort Solis, Roger Clark. Hi, how's it going? I'm really thrilled to be here. Thanks for having me. Fantastic. Yeah, and we're pretty excited as well. How's we're going to test from... you on your video game knowledge. Do you feel Oh, I can't wait. That? Yeah, yeah. This oh, is enough of the American sincerity. All right, let's get to it. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, b- before we get to it, Roger, what have you been playing like lately? Oh, and I, I finally finished Fractured Butthole. Oh, yeah? Mm. Yeah, and I'm really enjoying Starfield. And uh, I don't, I'm not deep, deep, deep into it, but I'm enjoying it. And I think, uh, well, I'm currently rehearsing theater in New Jersey at the moment, so my boys are way too into the Xbox, so I can't take that away. But I think I might bring the PS5 with me, and I might start on Baldur's Gate 3, because everyone's going on. Oh, you should. Nice, you nice. should. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you got a character in mind for that? You know, I always, I always usually go for the rogue, because... That's uh, my name is almost spelt that way. So, <laughs> yeah, true. And the backstab thing is the backstab thing in AD and D in Baldur's Gate three. Oh yeah, was like times yeah, two damage, backstab. wasn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. you can backstab. Yeah, that's a great move. Yeah, yeah. Um, you was also recently in Fort Solis with Troy Baker. How was that? I was. It was amazing. You know what I love now is like, you probably have already noticed this because <laughs> I never stopped going on about it. But I like I like raising awareness about performance capture. You know, mm-hmm. everybody it's still not thinks, voice acting everybody still thinks we're voice actors well no, not most people uh, most people not not all, everyone but yeah i like raising awareness about performance capture and what i really love like with for example for fort solace you know i worked five years on red dead so going into fort solace and seeing seeing the way the technology advances every time you go back into the volume is really fascinating to me i love to see what new things that we can do and everything i just love it i think it's a fantastic movie uh, you was also down at something called Tombstone Redemption recently with all the Red Dead oh, 2 cast. What was that yeah. about? I actually wasn't. I was the only one oh, wasn't, who wasn't yeah. there. Yeah, everyone else was. Shit. Apparently it was a huge hit. Oh, it was. Yeah, they're going to do it in South Dakota next year. I think I'll go to that one. Yeah, that was, that was everyone. It was the largest reunion of Red Dead cast ever, ever. Was it specifically like a fan con for Red Dead then? Is that yeah, what it was? Yeah, it was. Yeah, and you know, as... Uh, tombstone which i have been to tombstone before i was in tombstone like 20 years ago and it's just all it's it's a tourist place and they've they you know it's, it's, it, they're trying to get back on the map after covid like so mm-hmm. many things and they were you know it's it's been it's been it hasn't been great so it was yeah it's really kicked up the, the town again and it's a really cool town is it so no, wait wait does, wait Did, are you saying that you, they couldn't afford you no i couldn't go <laughs> Yeah, I, I rarely say no, but I honestly was in Honolulu with, I had a family vacation planned. Honolulu? Yeah, that was my, because I had enough, yeah, and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Well, right. 
if, not if, Tahiti. Ha, no. ha, ha. <laughs> there we go. Ha, ha, ha. So, Dave, you, you absolute pond scum, what have you been up to this week? I actually don't know what I've been up to. I just can't remember. No? I can't remember. No, Terrible. no. I'm just more interested in, in, our, in our pal George anyway. <laughs> I've been playing. I've been playing lots of indies. I've played Chance of Sena recently, and I'm playing another one. I've got too many. I've got seven that I have to review by the end of the month, and it's Whoa. the sixteenth. So, um, I better get on with it, really. Yeah, hold yeah. Up. Sounds wow. like you should. What are you doing here? <laughs> How do I you just do... can't. I, like Roger, I can't say no. Someone offers me an indie, and I take it. It's, How do you do more than one it. game at a time? How do you do that? No, you just play one very quickly, and then you okay. play the next one very quickly. Right. Exactly. Yeah, so, you just yeah. you just do, don't do anything else with your life. Um, yes. and then, yeah, it's I know, fine. I know Roger, how, Rockstar I know gave us a, you guys work. Yeah. Rockstar gave us a week to play Red Dead Two. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fun. Oh my god! And their embargo is one of the strictest of all, isn't it? Like, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, we wouldn't break an embargo, anyway. But yeah, I mean, oh you're literally playing it from the minute you wake up a to week? the minute you go to sleep. Yeah, to, to get it done. Oh my gosh! Fucking loved it though. It's great. Good mm-hmm. time. Good week. Can you believe it's almost five years now? I know. I turned down a trip trip to Vegas for that fucking game. You know, there was a Eve trip to Vegas. And the guy we sent was like, oh, yeah, we went. And then they cancelled the game after I went, so I didn't even have to write anything about it. So he just went to Vegas for a week and did nothing. What do you think of that new eyeball thing in Vegas? That thing looks <laughs> I heard there's one popping <laughs> up in the UK up. now. That's like, oh, it's amazing. I, I saw the clips from the U2 old. concert. It looks amazing. I just want to see Dave's head on it. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. You could make out where the bald spot hairline is. Yeah. Ooh. You'd be rising up like a full moon. Oh, from the earth. oh, oh, yeah, you could, you could. Okay. <laughs> How about you, you playing? Ryan? How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm doing all right. I've been, I've been playing uh, Sonic for the past week. That's fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, better than I was expecting, which is good. Uh, I, that's good. generally the best thing you can say about a new Sonic game. Fantastic. <laughs> but yeah, aside from that, I'll do the match. I also have uh, indie games to review before the end of the month, one of which is a, a life sim. So that's going to be a, a bit of a time sink. You know what? None of that sounded sarcastic. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I did prep a proper joke, but then you didn't do a proper introduction, so I couldn't set it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's I, I, the thing. You if you what? don't script everything, it's not funny. Yeah, Dave just got... goes off script. It goes so off script George. so much. <laughs> that was it. L- l- last time you went round and you introduced us all at the start, and I was like, oh, I can uh, set up a joke for that, but then you didn't do it. So, no, I, I'm sure I'm sure it would be more funny if we did it now. Like, <laughs> it did, well, yeah, if we set so, up wait, wait. the joke now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's okay, Ryan. All right. And then all right. now we have Ryan. Sponsored. Ryan, how are you? Hello. You, you, <laughs> you started talking over me. <laughs> well, uh, let's be honest. It's more funny now than it ever was going to be. Sure. I want to know who he's sponsored by now. He has a list. So, Ryan, who are you sponsored by today? I'm sponsored by Tom Clancy's French Fancies. For oh, oh so oh, for why fuck's do we sake. we gave Can him we, the whole opportunity? Quick, move to Marco. Move yes. to Marco. Marco, quick. <laughs> not not great anymore. Not great anymore after hearing that. <laughs> it's getting worse. This week we're going to start off with a game, and it's called Two Lies and a Truth. Our special guest will tell us two lies and a truth about their career, and the other three contestants have one guess between them to figure out which one is true. The contestants get one point each if they win. Roger will get three points if he wins. <gasps> I didn't know that. Mm. Well, you didn't know what? The, that you get points? I, uh, I didn't know there was a chance of me winning. Oh, right. Okay. I thought you, I thought you oh. forgot this was a game. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been way worse. <laughs> nice. It, it's rigged in your favor, if anything. So, my best friend when I was in school, uh, my best friend, he, um, he had this very weird form of Tourette's. Uh, and it, it well, he, he came from a Jehovah's Witness family, and he uh, he had Tourette's. But you know what Tourette's is is you say whatever is socially unacceptable. You know it's not all just curse words. And this kid grew up in a house where he had never heard a curse word in his life. 
So his form of Tourette's, the way he expressed it, was to take the Lord's name in vain. And up until like he was a 20-year-old man, he would just be talking away to you, and then in the middle of a sentence, he'd just go, Jehovah! And <laughs> that was his for, that was the way his Tourette's manifested itself, which is kind of funny. Even, even after he'd learned what curse words were, he would just go, Jehovah! And, that, <laughs> and then we, he had a neighbor when he was a kid. He had a neighbor who was a really horrible drunk, and his name was Johnny Davis. And the way his parents used to talk about Johnny Davis when he was a kid, every once in a while, a Johnny Davis slips out. So it's Je Jehovah and Johnny Davis. <laughs> Uh, so that's that's my friend uh, Idris was his name, and then another truth was uh, they're all truths by the way. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. So another truth is uh, well, I grew up in Ireland, in the west coast of Ireland, and there are some megalithic tombs nearby us called Caramore Tombs, and uh, it's really really old, older than the pyramids even, and I used to excavate those tombs when I was like in college, like a summer job, you know? And uh, they had these archeological students come over, but I was doing the donkey work. I was doing all the main digging. But every once in a while, I'd come across a little thing, you know? And sometimes it would be from the Iron Age. Sometimes it would be from the Neolithic Age. But uh, the one, the most interesting thing I found was a dice, a die. I guess the singular for a dice is die. I found a die. And it had, it didn't have a five or a six on it, but it had three fours. And the other thing I wanted to tell you about is, uh, is my Irish dancing. Uh, so I was an excellent Irish dancing champion when I was younger. And uh, I, I loved it, except for wearing the kilt. They don't have to wear the kilt anymore, although I would do it now. But as a, as a nine-year-old boy, I hated wearing the kilt. But yeah, I, I like beat the Irish number one and jig, reel, hornpipe, no problem. I used to do all that stuff. My mother would drag me all over the shop uh, to all these Irish Americans. And uh, it was a lot of fun, but except for the kilt, yeah. Thank so. you for telling us all those truths, Roger. Okay. Yeah. All right, moving what? on, shall we? <laughs> 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 so, wait, is one of them true or one of them a lie? One's true. You've got one to confirm is, between Only you. one is true. They're all yeah. true, oh. George. <laughs> no, only one is true. They're all, yeah, they're all true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was true. one lie. I no, thought one lie we, we twisted it around. Oh, you know what? I got to be honest with you. One of them is a lie. I thought it was that too. One oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> No, before oh, I, 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 was, I was getting uh, sorry, Ryan. I could hear you getting all ready. One of them's a lie. I, I broke the fucking rules already. I'm so it's sorry. sorry. Okay, right. okay. Which One one's the lie? Okay, uh, I'm yeah, not going to tell you. Being modified. <laughs> okay, so my my first instinct is that the the first one is true because he was like mm. so detailed, like little also, personable things. I Go. also think that's true because I know someone with threats and they always say chicken nuggets. It's not like. <laughs> It's not uh, always a swear. It's like what gets a reaction. And I think they, they said chicken nuggets because people laughed and then it was stuck in there. Yeah. So like yeah. it happened like that. Yeah. Okay. So I think first one's true. We can we can rule that out. The second one, I really want that to be true because that's a really cool like summer job, like doing excavating stuff. Mm. You can't do that in London. Oh, man. Uh, if, also... If, if... Like the pastos, you know, the pastos, they mm -hmm. like not all cultures have like counting up so far. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not historical. Marco, is that true? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell us about ancient Ireland. <laughs> Yeah, you know Ireland's past. not my expertise, so yeah. it's not. It's not Rome. <laughs> it's not Rome. He keeps What's telling us that it's not his it. expertise. It's bullshit. How many yeah, times right. do you? How many times do you think of ancient Rome in a day? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah right. When oh, it's Marco, Ireland. it's all day. I do very often. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think of ancient Ireland all the time. Yeah. <laughs> there are. There are. It could just be like an ancient game where it's just you don't. You don't use five and six, you know. It's I, I assumed he was robbing someone, like someone was cheating in the dice and, and to get. Oh, cash. it could be that as well, like That's... a weighted dice. You could be right. You can imagine them going one, two, three, four, four, four. Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> There's something's not right here. Yeah. So, 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 me, it's the the first one. I think it's true. The second one, I want it to be true. So, I think the third one's a lie. But what do you guys think? I also thought the third one was a lie because I feel like if Roger was good at dancing, they would have made him do a bit by now. 
you know. Who said my, they haven't? My... He's done a lot of stage plays and stuff. I, I bring this up a lot, but my dad is Scottish and he used to do swords dancing. And they they always, because he did, he was a national champion as well back in, you know, 1920. And, uh, yeah, he he always used to get pulled up and had to do that all the time. So, did I feel you say like your dad was brought... a champion in 1920? Yeah, that was a joke, but like 1960. <laughs> okay. Thank it was you. a joke that no one laughed at. And I yeah. thought, okay, so they think I'm that old. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm not going to lie. You said your dad did swords dancing, and I imagine your dad was a cipher, and that's where I was, I was the whole I time. I had Pokemon as well, yeah. What? Yeah. Swords oh, dance. I didn't. Re- yeah, you know the crossed swords, and you hop in and out. Yeah, and he had yeah. the blades on his hands. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought crossing swords was something different. To be honest. Oh, oh my god! god. god. Oh, god. <laughs> Marco, save us. What do you think? Uh, I agree with your reasoning on. See, answers. this is Marco. This is Marco. He waits for everyone else to talk and then he scoops up the points. Yeah, no, Give him the right. points. Give all the points I to Marco. If the last one were true, I think Kirk would have sent us a picture of that at some point. Picture of uh, <laughs> Roger and I killed. Pretty sure it has to exist if that's if that's the case. Yeah. So I think that's the lie. Uh, decent I think, reasoning. I, the, the group consensus is that the third one's a lie. The, the thing about this game is it's quite flawed because I don't know which one a lie is. So Roger could just go, no, nah, you're wrong. Yeah, I could. I could. Oh, yeah, yeah, I totally could. Yeah. yeah. So the first one's a lie. Oh, oh. 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 did you ever by going so that deep on it? It was good storytelling. It was good, it was good storytelling. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So nice. I knew it. Good bluff. Good bluff. The, well, where I grew up, uh, I grew up in a town called Sligo, right in the oh, west of I Ireland. Know. And there was this fella. And he's now, he's long since deceased, but they've like put up murals and graffiti things about him. And his name was Straight Back. And what this guy used to do, he was, you know, he was, he was a crazy character. And he would just walk into like the main center crossroads of town and just start directing traffic. But he was in no official capacity, any, anything to do with transport or anything. <laughs> he was just some crazy old guy. But he would wear a reflector jacket, so nobody said mm. anything. That's the you know, key. and tourists would come up to him thinking he was legit. But here's the thing about Straight Back. He hated his name. You never called him Straight Back. But the tourists didn't know that. So I remember once a tourist went up to him and says, hi there, sir. Can you tell me where I can get a Nocneria or whatever? And uh, and the Straight Back is legit. He gave him the he knew where he was going. He gave him the directions. And then the, the American tourist went, oh, so it's straight back. And the guy went, what'd you call me? And he, he started attacking him. <laughs> but he, he, had, he had threats and he would say, Jehovah, every once in a while when he was directing traffic. Wow. But it wasn't your childhood friend. It wasn't your childhood no, friend. No, he wasn't That's my good. childhood yeah. friend. See, I so would believe it's a lie that... with a seed of truth in it. That's good. Mm, I yeah. would have believed the second half of the story, except that you said Sligo as tourists. <laughs> Which I don't nah, believe. I'll have you know, my great great grandfather <laughs> came from Sligo. He was a sword fighting dancer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> used to cross sabers with him all the time. <laughs> you did, you had a, a summer job that was like excavating dig sites and stuff. Yeah, it was an awesome job. From 19 yeah, and 20. Cool. Yeah. I knew the dancing was true. I knew it was. Mm. I have done it at a con. Tabitha Lyons had me oh. do it in London. Uh, or was it Dublin? Might have been, I forget. I've done it a few times, yeah. A lot of these theatre folks come from dance backgrounds. Come on. Mm-mm. Well, yeah, but then that's the thing, is that usually they show it off a bit more. I, I never saw it in a game. Just because he didn't do it as Arthur Morgan, don't make him do it anywhere else. Yeah, missed opportunity there. Yeah, that was going to be a whole mission. It got cut. This week's theme is Western games. Imagine I inserted some cowboy music here. And next up, we've got the buzzword, our quick fire quiz. In this round, the judge reads out questions and the contestants have to buzz in to answer them. Correct answers get two points and the other contestants are able to buzz in if the person before them gets a question wrong. Unfortunately, the judge spent the budget we had aside for buzzers on a taser this time. So each contestant will need to select a word to represent their buzzer. Taser, Kirk. Yeah, you, I've got a lot of enemies. Against? I've got a lot of enemies. You got ops. I got have three more. <laughs> You're just scum. Like, <laughs> <nothing>. <laughs> yeah. I love how that was the first. Just draw that out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. 
me fat last time as well. <laughs> I did not. I did not. You I did. said, you, you, I said, you, 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 I said you're a tall was, man. It was I said you're a tall man. I'm not there, am I? You're going to say something out loud for your buzzer, and I'm going to ask Roger Clark, what is your buzzer? Uh, I would like to say Vesuvius after Mount Vesuvius. Uh, Fantastic. The volcano that launched to Pompeii. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just like how dead man it was. A, a classic Western uh, trope there. Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> that was well, one... Ryan, have you got something better? I have. Anything could be better. Anything that's one syllable would be smarter. <laughs> I got draw. Oh, okay. Draw. As in, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, everyone uh, needs It's because you went American, but it wasn't oh, American. That's at so all. much better. All that's... right, I'll say Vesuvius is Arthur then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, George, you got something good for us? I do. After we, we had a lot of talk about Michael Mouse last week, so I thought I would do a catchphrase. If you missed it, um, you should listen to it to find more about his sexual potency. But anyway, oh. his catchphrase is Oh boy! Oh god, oh, okay. Boy, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh boy. Marco, please help us. Uh, I think Roger was on the right track with Mount Vesuvius because you know, lots <laughs> yeah. of Italo Westerns were, were pretty. This is a Roman Europe Empire thing. Day. I'm coming for you. Yeah. How many How many times a day do you think about Vesuvius? <laughs> <laughs> that one not so often. But uh, no, I'll go with Ennio for Ennio Morricone, the famous composer of Western soundtracks. Excellent choice. Nice. Oh, that's nice. good. All right. A little bit of music. There we go. Question one. What year is Red Dead Redemption 2 set in? Vesuvius! Roger Clark. It's going to be embarrassing if you get this wrong. Oh shit, Wait, did you say one or two? Two. 1899. Very good. Hey! <laughs> I like your jingle. Do you know what? I was going to guess 96 off the top of my head. I thought that weren't bad then. I thought it didn't do bad. Just what, 1996? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Yeah. I was going to say 96, so I wasn't bad. If you want to be my outlaw, you got to get with my <laughs> friends. Next question. How many games are there in the Red Dead Redemption series? The show oh, is. Boy. <laughs> That was Roger again, I'm afraid. Yeah, it was. Ah. Are we ca- All right, I, I, I'm cheating now. Are we counting games or DLCs? Not DLCs, just games. Three, uh, three, there's three. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I thought it was going to catch someone off, but no. Yeah. Oh, we, we're, we're journos. We, we got it. I don't know. What was the Western-themed spin-off of Abe's Odyssey called? Oh, boy. Judge. Uh, Stranger's Wrath. Yeah, what was the little bit before Stranger's Wrath? What are we doing now? Always you're like that to me. <laughs> I, mean, and I don't get it. The, it's, oh, it's called what's Stranger's the... Wrath. Nobody yeah, but else like, knew it. that's the subtitle. Strangers Wrath. Nobody else knew it. I think you should just give it to her, man. That's the yeah, subtitle. Who is, who is the judge, Roger? <laughs> <laughs> Abe's is Odyssey. It's called Odyssey, Strangers Wrath, then. Uh, it's that's not. wrong. That's wrong, I'm afraid. I'll give you oh, half a point. Oh, come on. She knew better than everyone else. <laughs> it's Odd I didn't World. know that. Odd World, Strangers Wrath. I didn't Wrath. know. Oh, okay. Oh. It's on Vita. You can have it. I'll give you the point. It's on Vita right. and you didn't get it right again. I hope you know oh it's a goodness. pity point, though. It's a pity point. And I'm okay, really as long as it's, upset it's a point, still, that's all that matters. Point. Still a point, George. <laughs> right. The founder of Arcane Studios, Rafael Calatonio, split off to form a new studio called Warfire Games in 2019. What was the name of their first game released in March 2022? Anyone? Weird Vest? Yeah. Weird West. Nice, nice. one. Well I was done. I was sitting there. I was like, was it Weird West or was it Evil West or what? Yeah, <laughs> There's so yeah. many so games many called West. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Roger's got to get this one. Where does Dutch Vandalin keep telling the gang they'll flee to once they have enough money? Vesuvius. That Roger. would be Tahiti. Oh yeah. Roger's just kicking all your asses. I can't believe he knows his own game better than you lot. <laughs> I should. <laughs> yeah, I will say you've weighted this heavily in the guests' favour. Is that the plan to keep them excited to come on? That's it. it. Is, That's it. It is easy to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you won't get this one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the indie cowboy game with the hand-drawn stickman art style? Oh boy. 
judge. Oh! You're meant to know the fucking answer if you it's buzz loathing. in. It's loathing! It's um, loathing! It's like something over loathing, and I can't oh, remember. No, I'm not oh, taking no. that. I'm not taking Any half an answer. Go on, Marco. West of loathing. It's oh. Marco's. Ah, uh, George, set it up. Right, okay. What's the best name to scream when you're drunk in a saloon and you can't the find the show? Oh, yes! Lenny! <laughs> That's I, the only, one. I only say it like a couple of times a day on cameo. <laughs> <laughs> How sick are you of saying that now? I'm not at all sick of it. I'm Good. not at all sick of it. No, I love it. I love it that people love it. Yeah. At the end of that round, Roger's in the lead with. I'm blowing you all away. Like seven points. Yeah! The show me is. Because of the word. Because of the word. Do you remember that guy in Pompeii? They caught him wanking when he died. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Yeah. I'm, we oh, all man. know that guy. <laughs> oh, here comes the magma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's oh, that is so funny. Just thinking of that, picturing that in my head. <laughs> By the way, the the sequel, the sequel was Shadow Over Loathing, which is what I was thinking of. No one cares now. <laughs> All right, uh, Abe's Odyssey. <laughs> no, but, like, but just like cut that in so it looked like I know what no the sequel's chance. called. No chance. Uh, Marco, Marco is somehow second, which is shame on all of you. To be abnormal. honest, <laughs> George is third, and Ryan has no points because he's scum. Look, wow. We're going to roll on to the next one, and I, I'm, I'm hoping that Ryan can do better right now because he, he, he's letting he's letting everyone down. And next up, we've got Cam EO, a round where the judge chooses a game and our contestants have to select a famous person or game character who would make the best cameo in that game. Each contestant gets one minute to argue their case and one objection. Kirk, please keep the time. Anyone who says objection can interrupt the speaker and explain why their idea is flawed, at which point the clock is paused. Hopefully we won't have that clock paused for like a whole hour this time. That would be nice. The judge will choose the best answer. Four points to the person who comes first, three for the runner-up, two for third, and one for last place. So Ryan's going to get a point regardless. You know what, Dave? <laughs> which game will it be today, Mr. Kirkles? Going in with a Western theme and our guest, it's going to be Red Dead Redemption 2 this week. And since Roger is first on the scoreboard, we'll let Roger go first. Are you ready? Yeah. The time starts now. All right, so I think Pee Wee Herman should be in Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> Damn, <I'm sorry. laughs> Why? Because every time someone dies, he could just go, Ah! <laughs> right? Uh, but, then, no, but he would add a really whole different dynamic to it as well. God rest him. <laughs> You know, he started out in 70s LA on the comedy circuit, which was very similar to the Wild West, as you all know. And uh, his, uh, his costume already suits Red Dead Redemption 2 with the little bow tie, you know. And he'd be jumping around, and he actually has dressed up like a cowboy in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. You notice it just before he meets up with the bikers and he sings the tequila song. He actually dresses up like a little cowboy. He's got little tassels. And, uh, and and the little things waving from his sleeves. I don't know what they're called. But he looked very convincing as a Wild West cowboy. And, you know, he's recently passed away, so you can't... You don't joke about it. It's Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> and, Objection! Um... <laughs> your point is that we can't, we can't have a go at your one because he's dead. Yeah, he That's... recently died. It would be unfair. It would be in bad taste, George. So anyways... <laughs> Yeah, I come, say Pee Wee Herman for Red Dead 2. That's the end of it. That's the end. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, seriously, George, that was way out of line. Come on. Yeah, yeah. George, you, you wasted your objection there. Do you oh, know what, though? Oh, we only have big, one? Uh, big one? One for the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Right. Pee Wee's Big Adventure was like a, a formative part of my childhood, which is probably why I'm still here, because that film's fucked up, man. Marco, are you ready? I am. Let's go. I would put in Cad Bane from Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you probably don't know him, Who but is he's that? basically a Western hey, no, character no, it's, already. It's, it's, don't give him the time. Oh, I, I really like that. That's he's a Western that's character a already. One. He has a big-ass, badass hat, two laser pistols he uses. He's the quickest draw in the galaxy, and he has rocket boots, so he can fly around, giving Red Dead Redemption a whole new level of gameplay. Sounds like he's reading it. You're reading it. He's a certified badass. He's also cold and ruthless, so he perfectly fits into a Western setting. 
that's totally you know really dark and gray like Red Dead Redemption. He got this. He got this in advance. I won't, I won't, I won't waste no, my objection. No one even has it's objections. So no, it's a really cool idea. Yeah. I don't have one. It's the blue guy. No, it's the blue guy in it. He's the blue guy. The blue guy. Okay. So blue dead. No, I'm not going there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're about to make the worst joke in the show. Oh, no. I was like, you call it yourself. Hey, you, you dunked on my fucking jokes. <laughs> George, you're up next. Go. So I was thinking, who's the cowboy's natural enemy? And to me, that's Bugs Bunny, right? Because he's always... <laughs> oh, Ryan likes it. Because he's always fighting with you, Sam. Sam. And, you know, he's got all those different costumes. He's the master of disguise. I originally was thinking like a Wile E. Coyote thing. But the thing is, is that he only works with Roadrunner. So I think Bugs is better at like outsmarting Arthur, you know, sending him on little side quests out of Objection. the way. Objection. Yes. But the problem is, what's a big part of Red Dead 2? And that's hunting and skinning the animals. If mm. someone's playing Arthur Morgan and they see a big walking rabbit, they're just going to shoot it immediately, ask questions later. A Bugs Bunny is going to be hanging dry on someone's wall inside. I that's knew a- I should have taken a ride at Albuquerque. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. a good objection. It's a good just objection, try, George. Just try to shoot and skin bugs. I dare you. That's half of it, isn't it? He's, he can never be caught. That's his thing. That's his whole thing. Ducking, diving. It's the, It'll be like the post-game boss. It's like the hardest thing to do in the game. See, so people are always going on about they want a challenge. That's the challenge. You be got a legendary kill animal. Bugs buggy, bunny, <laughs> bugs buggy. You got to kill him, buggy. right? And I'll then turn him into a go- bugs buggy. Yeah, take the skin, make it. You're coat. out of time. You're out of time. I just want to say <laughs> that uh, you know that that one Bugs Bunny episode where like uh, him and Elmer Fudd are doing some like Viking opera. Yeah. 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 I was just imagining like Arthur Morgan and and, and Bugs Bunny doing that instead. Figaro, 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 <laughs> Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Anyway, what about you, Ryan? Hi. Have my, has my time started? Sponsored yep. by. You lost five seconds. <laughs> Great. And I'll tell you what. If you thought Marco's character was obscure, you better wait because my character is. Partitio from Octopath Traveler 2. He's he's a Western like minor owner anyway, so fits right in with the setting. But what's the most deadly thing in the Red Dead games? Trains. And Partitio's final boss in his campaign is a giant mechanical train. He can kill him like nobody's business. And his whole thing is that he goes around the world and convinces all these rich billionaires to give up all their money and end poverty and capitalism and fuck capitalism. I think it's objection. a fantastic character. <laughs> oh. Marco doesn't like Marco's objecting for <laughs> capitalism. <laughs> you talk <laughs> shit about capitalism. If you're destroying capitalism, then, then the Wild West doesn't happen. There's no expansion. But no one wants gold oh, mining. But the whole thing in Red Dead 2 is that it's like the, the Wild West is dying and now all of the corporation and technology is coming it in. It was killed and by capitalism. can fight that. Mm. He can fight that. Bad objection, Marco. Yeah. I should dock him a point for that. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should. So uh, that's my argument. Fuck drains. Fuck billionaires. Partitio. You know what? After, uh, despite everything, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good, good argument, Ryan. Gotta Thank give it you. to you. I, I was like... That's, I was kind of like, what... Octopath Traveler 2, where the fuck is he going? But actually... <laughs> <laughs> Marco gets... No, Marco doesn't get first. I think Roger gets first. Wait! Yeah, I'm sorry. You can't hey, I would have given Marco first, guy. actually. We... I would have given... I think Cad Bane's <laughs> a really good idea. So if any of us had picked a dead person, we'd all be joint first. <laughs> exactly. Pick Henry VIII. There's a few <laughs> dead people you can't pick, I'll tell you that. I'm playing Henry VIII right now, in a play. I mean, if you yeah, pick Maggie it. Thatcher, then you'd have got no points, so... Yeah. <laughs> Marco's second. Ryan's third, and George's last. Sorry, George. I am shocked. I thought I'm that not. was really good. Everyone good. laughed. Everyone yeah, but you get laughed. skinned. Ryan's Ryan, objection fucked you. Ryan bust out laughing as soon as I said it. He it was it. pretty good, honestly, I did, and then George. the cogs started turning, and I knew how to take you down. I'm sorry. It was a hard one to score. And next up, we've got a game called End Credits. 
The judge will say a line from a game and then pass the mic to one of the contestants who have to continue the story in an off-the-cuff and most entertaining way possible. Anyone who flops it is eliminated. And we move on to a new quote. It's going to be Everyone's really bad. Everyone's shaking their heads. It's going to be Good. real bad. And in what order will they go this time? Mr. Bold. So we were meant to go with the lowest score first, which is Ryan and George. So I'll just, I'll go Ryan because it's going to be funny. Um, <laughs> oh, the first yeah, improv is my, my one major skill. The first quote. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. Right, you flopped it. Sorry. That is too that's a, that's delayed. That's a brutal flop timer. Delayed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. George, you're up. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I don't think so. We're in a Wendy, sir. Follow up, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> I have no follow up to that. <laughs> no, you fucked it, Marco. Sorry, mate. Right, okay. <laughs> it's the last one. It's between George and Roger. So, Roger, you'll start us off this time. You, sir, are a fish. And I do love fishies because I'll tell you what, I was raised by fishes when I was a little boy and I never, never, ever will forget my mommy fish. She was so nice to me and she would feed me little bits of caviar out from her poop hole. It was the most wonderful thing. And you are, you remind me just like her. You, sir, are undoubtedly a fish. This is, this is one line, yeah? <laughs> you as long as you want. Don't give George more time. Go, Judge. But if you if you missing the fish, aren't you the fish? Not me, sir. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Roger. Go on, Roger. Back to it. What, what uh, 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 well, you know, I I have nothing against fishes. You know, I was raised by fishes, as I earlier stated. Uh, <laughs> And uh, it was quite a challenge learning how to breathe underwater and whatnot. Many of my colleagues failed, a fella called John Marston particularly. Uh, but uh, I, I just love fishes. And uh, yeah, I, I don't exactly know how to retort to that. There was more of an accusation than anything. I love fishes. What I'm hearing from this is that you have a mother complex. Is, <laughs> did something happen with your father? Is that why you're not bringing him up? Uh, it's, uh, well, my, f it's an Oedipo Rex thing, <laughs> but, but, uh, the thing, well, I'll, all right, I'll be honest with you. They're cold-blooded animals, and, uh, I do like be I do like being nearby cold-blooded animals, and it reminds me of when I was a kid underwater with all <laughs> of the caviar from my mother's poop hole. Is the caviar from your mother's poop hole here in the room with us now? Uh, no, it's all... It's not. It's all gone. I ate it all up. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> I can't. No, I can't. I can't talk about Roger's poop hole. I can't do it. It's, it's not, not mine. Roger's it's poop my mother's hole. poop hole. It's my mother's poop hole. No, no, mm, no, yum, 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 yum. If yum, Roger yum. ate it, the natural conclusion is Roger's poop hole, and I just can't go there now. Right, well, uh, I'll, I'll Roger wins see, again I'll, then. Yeah, I'll okay. It's like it's like it's like pee. You can you can drink other people's, but don't drink your own. <laughs> can, can, Is that the same? <laughs> Is that the same about pee? Ryan, you're letting me down once again. What if Kirk's just gonna drop an improv round on me? Well, then you got to improv. You got improv, man. I can't improv. <laughs> I know. I noticed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You, James you know, more holier than thou voice then. <laughs> I noticed. You're all Meanwhile, at a disadvantage anyway because it, we got an actor, an actor on the show. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say. Meanwhile, well, we got someone super skilled like George. No, sir. This is a like this is a Wendy's. I feel like this this whole show has been tilted against us from the very start. Yeah. yeah. I think you're totally talking out of your your behind there, Ryan. Anyway, say give us the scores, us. Kirk. Say us. <laughs> What's the scores there, Kirk? Yeah, I'll show you that. By quite I'll a show bit. you how. Yeah, see, it has, it's not biased at all, Ryan. Okay, we like to have fun here. We really, really do, and that's why the next round is a quick game of ticking tag. Each one of you has one minute to choose a video game character that you would want to team up with in a situation chosen by the judge. 
And to continue our Western theme, this time it's which character, video game character that is, would you like to help in a bank heist? And since Ryan's last, you're going first. Because I know you like going off the cuff, Ryan. So you got a minute, go. Okay, you need someone who's good at heists, whose whole thing is heists, magical heists especially. Joker from Persona 5. Their whole thing is that they're thieves. And they've even robbed a bank before. Granted, it was a weird magical bank with a big fly man who had a mechanical uh, pig thing. <laughs> Beside the point, he's good He's good with guns, quick on the draw. He's good with, what's Joker's weapon? A dagger. You know, he can he can sneak in quick and I'll, I'll just be like the, the uh, navigator guy who just sits in the back and makes uh, random nonsensical quips every time he does anything. And... And the whole thing will run pretty smoothly from there. Also, free cap. Smooth move. Navigator guy. That's what it's called in Persona. They're called the Navigator. Okay. Yeah. When they, go, when they burst out, like, oh, where's That's the it. Navigator guy? I'll give you those clips. <laughs> and every time he does a cool move, I'll be like, sponsored by, and then a, a funny thing. Mm. I'm not oh, oh, Navigator guy, you say the funniest thing. <laughs> <laughs> you get me. Next up is George. So my first four, and then I got enraptured in Ryan's Persona story, but Terminator 2 from the video game Terminator 2 from the Mega Drive. I don't Drive. think he's called Terminator 2. He's the second he's Terminator. He's called the Terminator. He's the Terminator 2. Yeah, oh, short because... Terminator. Judgment Day. No, no, the little skinny blonde twink, because oh, he can... <laughs> He can turn, like, into anything, right? He can copy anyone, disguise as anyone. He can, you know, turn his hand into, like, keys or knives or whatever you want. He can get in and out. You wouldn't even be seen. And much like Ryan as well, you wouldn't even have to be there because he can just do it. You know, he's the perfect partner. And he's he's just a, a killing machine. He's just a machine, right? So then you can just be like, okay, he gives us all the money at the end. And you go, yeah, sure. You that's know what, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Can't argue with that. Marco, who's helping you in your bank heist? Jim Rayner from StarCraft. You choose Jim Rayner uh, <laughs> has lots of experience with heists. <laughs> James Rayner is, I guess, his technical name. Um, he, has lots of, he has lots of experience with heists, uh, stealing from, from governments since he's a rebel. Um, and he's a space marine armor and some pretty heavy weapons, so he can get through any defense. I can just stand behind him because the arm is pretty big, so he protects me. I give the commands, he takes part of the money, I take part of the money. Win win. See, when Marco said Jim Rayner, I didn't know, but when he said James Rayner, then I got it. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, George! <laughs> Your time starts now, Roger. So, uh, I, I just, I, I don't know if this is the best option, but if it's, is it a bank heist in Red Dead? Or just just any, any bank heist. Yeah. Oh, then I want Kratos. <laughs> yeah, because he just like you know we've all come up with very lazy options. We just we've all come up with people who can clearly just do it by themselves, and I'm gonna follow in that suit. Kratos, <laughs> he can just smash everything open. Nobody would say or do anything. He can't die. I don't even in the video game. It's really I play on easy, so it's really hard for him to die. <laughs> and I don't play on easy. I play on normal. But anyways, yeah, Kratos. <laughs> All right, I think George takes that one, to be honest. Uh, and then Roger, and then Ryan, and then Marco shit, whatever that was. Sorry, Not Marco. lost again. That was <laughs> redemption for Bugs Bunny, who should have scored better, in my opinion. I agree. <laughs> Honestly, George, I'm with you. All right, it's, it's time for the final round. This is the time where you're going to get your points so you can win, or you're going to fuck it all entirely. And it's time for Rate Your Stars Right, everyone's favorite one where there are 17 games and you have to guess whether the next game in the sequence has a higher or lower Metacritic score than the last. So, you get one point for each game you guess correctly, if you mess it up, then the next person gets a chance to guess stuff. Yeah, that's, that's the whole intro. Good explanation. What do you want? Question. What? How many points do I need to beat Roger? <laughs> Kirk. There's not a. There, I don't think there's 17 games here for a start. I think the script's <laughs> had the wrong number in it. Uh, great but never mind. 
Never mind, never mind. I don't nice, think you can nice win this, hope, right? even nice if you get them all right. No, what, no. How, how many uh, points are there, and how many games are there, and we'll find out if this is doable. I respect your admiration. Yeah. There's That's ten cool. points available. In don't lose hope, Ryan. You might do it. You might do it. I might do it. And you won't do it. So the first game is Red Dead Redemption, which oh. has a 95 Metacritic, and the second game is Red Dead Redemption 2. Is that higher or lower? All right. Here we go. Clean sweep. Red Dead Redemption 2 is lower. Wrong. <laughs> I, I was going to say that. That's <laughs> It's you one of the highest rated games of all time, right? Wow. Okay, Marco, you're next. Right, so the, the game we're on is Red Dead Redemption 2. Is Darkwatch higher or lower? Never heard of it. I'm not going to say it's lower. It is lower. Right, next up is Oddworld Strangers Wrath HD. <laughs> lower or higher? Lower again. Fucking hell, yeah. Yep. It yeah, it's not that good. Sorry. <laughs> I, I played it, but it's not that good. Mate, Dark Watch isn't either. <laughs> oh, I don't is, know that one either. Is Hunt Showdown higher or lower than Oddworld Strangers Wrath HD? Well, that must be higher. It's pretty popular. It is. Fucking hell, Marco. He's, he's sweeping it. Marco's going to overtake Roger See, now. Ryan, I, say that I, for Marco I, I, to I said, sweep. I said I was going to do it, but no, no, no. Marco's got it. <laughs> I believe in you. Is Hard West 2 higher or lower than Hunt Showdown? Um, lower. Fuck. <laughs> yes. yes, keep going. Is West Marco. of Loathing higher or lower than Hard West 2? Higher. Jesus Christ. Yes. Yeah, it's good. Whoa. West of Loathing's good. Yeah. Is Fallout New Vegas higher or lower than West of Loathing? Ooh. It's trash, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite good. <laughs> it's lower. It is. Yes. Yeah. What? I, told you. I would not have guessed that. No. I'm Whoa. the critic's choice. Here we I go. I would not have guessed that. Here we is go. Is Weird West higher or lower? than Fallout New Vegas. Lower. Fuck's sake, man. What's yes. happening? Yeah. Marco's just here to take He's... the dub. That's all it is. Come on, He's clean sweep every it. Every time. Clean sweep it, let's go. Is Red Dead Revolver higher or lower than Weird West? Lower. Yeah, fuck's sake, honestly, what's going on? You've Come got on, it. Marco. Come on, Marco. One more. This Last is the one. Best one yet. This Come is the on, best one. Let's go. Yeah, Marco's. It, yeah. Is gun higher or lower than Red Dead Revolver? Gun. <laughs> gun. <laughs> gun. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's higher. For fuck's sake. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, Marco. Yeah. Oh, that's if Marco a Marco. Hasn't won it with that. That's depressing. Marco's that the winner incredible. in my heart after that. Christ. Marco. That Marco. Has not won the episode. Yes, oh yeah. my god. <laughs> he has. He absolutely he has all for has not. I think, I think you'll find he had. At Bald Prince on Twitter, he won this episode. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah. I don't even care that didn't get go. That was a great run. Roger has 18 points. Marco has 17 points. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh. Come on. Go to Come on. Add one more. Get, get no. in the game. No. <laughs> George no, has know. nine points and Ryan has. Five points. A gentleman's five. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's that's the show. I enjoyed that. Woo, woo. Do, you, do you want to give us a acceptance speech, Roger? It's been an honor to win Hang on all up. this. Uh, thank you. I would like to thank the people who formed the quiz and the people who had me on here. And I would also like to thank the guy who, uh, who was jacking off when that magma was approaching. <laughs> <laughs>